Welcome to Dave TV! How are you doing? Uh... Hello, welcome to Dave TV. A little different, I'm using the uh, laptop here. The little portable camera inside the laptop to uh, shoot this edition of Dave TV because I got the other computer in the other room over there working on some video editing stuff so I thought I would uh, try this out and see how it works welcome to Dave TV for the what is today the 10th of June 2014 and then uh, I tell you this paper they need to fix this style section it is so boring Ooh, Jay Leno is seen at the National American History Museum. Ooh, whoopee doo. <laughs> Paul Fari with another textbook article describing to us what it means to be a ghostwriter. Ooh. Okay, well, anyhow, kind of choppy video on this. I don't know. It's like, <laughs> should, I have, should I put the hat on? And it's backwards. Look, I'm back. I'm in a backwards universe. Everything's backwards. Oh, well. I don't know. Anyhow, that's okay. We'll just do it. The only, you know, the only reason you're here is for the important stuff. What are the, what's the important stuff? The radio ratings. So anyhow, we got the new radio ratings. Look, the monthlies for the month of May. Okay. I'm going to look at the money demos, okay? Who's the number one station in the money demo? 2554 for the month of May. We have Hot 99.5, WIHT in first place, WTOP in second. So let's look at Hot 99.5. Their ratings are doing pretty good. They're maybe down a little bit. You know, they had like a, a 7.4 share back in April, a 7.0 share in uh, May, and up to a 7.2. Okay, so they're doing pretty good. TOP in the money demo is down to second place. Holding pretty steady at about a six, a little over a six share. Their mornings, let's see, Kane was third in mornings in the money demo um, over on 195. TOP is, they're a good second place all across the board in the money demo. Now, if you look at the beauty contest number six plus, TOP is first. Okay, but when you look at the money demo, they're second. Wash is also tied for second. Wash, uh, sixth place for Lou in the mornings. They do great in late mornings with first place, fourth place for them in afternoons. Whamu is fourth place in the money demo. They're first place in the morning. So they actually beat T.O.P. Morning Edition beats T.O.P. there. That's interesting. And they're third place in afternoons. DC 101 actually do really well in the money demo up to fifth place. Fourth place for Elliot. Uh, H.U.R. is sixth place. Fourth place for Steve Harvey. Uh, Fresh 94.7, best new good news for CBS. Finally, some more good news for Steve Swenson over there. Uh, eighth place, or seventh place, full days, eighth place for Tommy McFly in the money demo for the month of May. Eighth place for WMMJ, tenth place for Tom Joyner in mornings. Ninth place for PGC, again, a second station, a second station for, for CBS. A second station for CBS in the top 10 in May. Uh, 14th place. They're doing better. And Pablo's doing a little better there in mornings, but still they got a way to go. Uh, rounding out the uh, top 10 for the month of May, Money Demo, W Big in 10th place, 13th place in mornings. KYS is 11th place. KYS is trending down a bit. You know, they were back, they were solid 8th place, 10th place performer back in April. Now they're down to 11th place. Russ Parr at 12th. JFK is doing pretty well. They're 12th place. That's a bit up for them. The Junks at 7th place um, in the Monday demo. Tied there for WGTS. Um, doing very well there. A 14th place for WMZQ. The morning show is, you know, that, what's it, uh, Boner? What's his name? Boney? I don't know. Boner guy, whatever his name is. Um, he's the 16th place, which is eh, maybe a little bit up, but, you know, still... Nowhere near Boxer's magnificent numbers. Um, 15th place for WPRS, praise, in the money demo. 16th place in MAL. So MAL is down a little bit in the overall numbers too, but they're also down in the money demo to 16th place. Uh, that, those two boring guys in the morning, 11th place. Uh, Rush about 8th place in middays. 
Um, and they're not doing so great in afternoon 16th place, you know, which is, eh, but they weren't doing so great when Hannity was there either. So they need a live and local show. And it's interesting to see how every now and then, whenever, whenever um, uh, Michael Savage isn't on, Bill Hess puts one of his local guys on to, yeah, I, I know they're testing that out. They're trying to show, hey, you know, Michael Savage, I mean, I, Michael Savage, I don't know. He, he's a late night guy. He just doesn't sound right during the day. I don't know what about it, but that's that's my that's my sense. That's my two takes. Seventeenth place for Rita FM for the money demo. Eighteenth place for RQX. Still, they're still struggling a little bit up for them. But the mornings again, they're twenty second place, and that's you know with the music mornings with Marco or, the, or with Burt Weiss, it was you know about the same. So they still need something new. They, again, that's the station they need to just blow up and start over with. El Zol at 19th place, 18th place for mornings with Biagi. I still think um, they need a better signal, but what the hell, what's CBS going to do? WTEM in 20th place. Again, not having the Redskins and not having baseball on is probably hurting them a bit. I mean, not Tony Kornheiser gone. They're down to 17th place. Gone for the summer, not gone permanently. They're down to 17th place in uh, middays. WDCN, little Spanish station at 21st place, 16th place uh, in the mornings, 22nd QSR, 23rd ABA, 25th, um, oh wait, I'm looking at the wrong numbers here, 22nd, okay, 22nd QSR and WAVA and WKDV, okay, where was, uh, where was WNEW, where were they, where, did I miss them? By Joe, where was the W and where where is W N E W in the um, money demo? Uh, hello, W N E W. Where are you? Where? Oh, look at that 29th place. W N E W is 29th place in the money demo, although they're 22nd place in the overall number. So interesting to note that in the Baltimore market, in the Baltimore market, um, I believe. Um, Let's see, Baltimore market, T.O.P. was 21st, and W.N.E.W. was 22nd. W.B.A.L.A.M., the main news talker in the market, he is in 7th place. So, there. so anyhow, I'm looking at these numbers, and again, the overall numbers, if you look at the overall numbers, the 6 pluses for D.C., T.O.P.'s in 1st place. Now, I'm not seeing any big changes. No big changes. You know, W.R.Q.X. is still slumping. M.A.L. is kind of slumping down a bit. I'd say, you know, Cumulus is in kind of a little bit of trouble there. But overall, um, you know, nothing earth shattering. You know, Third Channel's doing well. Big's doing well. DC 101's doing pretty good. Um, you know, what are you going to say? What are you going to say? So, uh, as I say, you know, format change possibility is the most, still the most likely would be WRQX. Um, so there, I don't know. Um, all right. So, anyhow... That's the big news here on DCR TV. Uh, oh, Michael Mara's got a new book out. It's called Open Mic from Corporate Radio to New Media, the story of the Michael Mara show. And in it, Mike talks about how, you know, his radio show ended there with WJFK and how he moved on to um, work and do the podcast and all that. And, uh, you know, how that it's a, a tale of reinvention. So check it out. It's on Amazon. Go to DCR TV's front page. Click on the Amazon.com link and buy, buy, buy lots of copies of that book. It sounds like a real interesting read. Maybe Mike will send me a copy autographed. Hmm. Wouldn't that be nice? All right, folks. Thanks for watching Dave TV for the 10th of June 2014. Uh, we're finishing under the 10-minute mark, which is really cool. <laughs> and you want to know something? Right, look at that. No camo pants. These are these are actually olive colored army pants, but they're hard it's hard to tell because the color on this isn't so great. But so technically I'm still military ready, but uh, they're not camos today, so anyhow. What are you gonna do about that? Thanks for watching. Oh, shout out to Gina and Michael. Uh, they watch these every you know, they, they call me up like the minute these are posted and say, Dave, Dave, you you're too fat or <laughs> you're too bald. <laughs> Grow some more hair. You... Oh, oh, the, oh, the one thing they always complain about is that I'm always like showing my belly, but I'm like doing that. You know, they're going, Dave, Dave, get a, get a looser shirt. <sighs> Sex cells. All right, folks. Thanks for watching Dave TV. Book them, Dano.